Hi, I'm Matt Inskip. And I'm Peter Harrison. I'm Ian Pullin. And I'm Colin Faraday. And welcome to Masterclass with Sauset. We're here today to look at three new exciting products, two new releases from Verstegen and one really exciting exclusive marinade for DL. And those products are World Grill Tandoori, World Grill Cajun Louisiana, and we've worked with the team at Verstegen to create this exclusive hot, hot habanero marinade. It looks superb as well, Peter, doesn't oh, it? You know, it does the, the, the sheen on it, the, uh, the, the colour. Flavour is really good, though, isn't it? Oh, it's absolutely so, warm. Seriously <laughs> hot. It's too, it's too hot for me. But, yeah, it's too yeah, hot for it's, me. It's good. So the Indian tandoori from Verstegen, uh, it's a real traditional tandoori flavour. Yeah. Um, I know we've all tried it and uh, it's absolutely yeah. incredible. Paired with the yoghurt and garlic from Verstegen as well, just takes it, it to that well. next level. Oh, yeah, 100%. Com so complementing each other, didn't they? Oh, the definitely, and definitely. And really excited again about the colours of this. You can see it really popping and sheening again. Oh, definitely, yeah. Uh, Rook's re really done a good job of this job, Mark. I think it looks really superb. So and it's such, well. a, some, such a simple product, yeah. you know. Yeah. It works fantastic with the um, the, the tea, the sausage mix. Yes. Mm. You yes. know what I mean? Yes. Like that. Yeah, yeah. 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 even the doing sort of chicken mess. grills, chicken tika grills yeah. with the tandoori yeah. oh, over. That work yeah. well. Yeah. Oh, really definitely would. like, yeah. Yeah, well, the, the Cajun Louisiana has got the real uh, authentic smoky flavour to it. Um, as I say, I was very well with the, um, the vegetables in there, the um, what is it? Uh, celery, peppers, uh, onions, um, and... The Cajun Trinity. Yeah. The, sorry, yes, the Cajun Trinity pizza, thank you. I, I think that, that for this one, for me, for the flavour, it's got the jewel in the crown, it really is, and I love the I idea you had Peter yesterday, we was cooking it off yesterday, we dropped two eggs in and cooked it. Yeah, yeah, that that was a, a real yeah that's meal, everybody's that breakfast this yes. week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, was, that was good. And the colour again, colour looks superb, oh, um, yeah. and not over-complicated with, the, with the, the Holy Trinity, as we call and, it here. And that dish especially, um, we like hand diced the pork small but it would work well with um minced pork but it yeah. eight mil clay ah, yes. so, yes. so it's yeah. a bigger plate yeah. and then you know that would tenderize it and make it even quicker cook that um, yeah. with the trinity again and yeah. bang 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 a very very easy simple stir fry and i think the way you dice it there pete is quite it's nice as well because everything's in strips there's nothing wrong with that but actually just shows just an added so so dimension oh, again is that when you're in a count and you've got this other stir fries with the strips because this is diced uh, and it, it looks really good, I think. Yeah. Uh, I do like that one. Right, guys, let's get on with the masterclass and look at these five great products. <laughs> so let's kick off with the first one today. Scorpion tails, right? So the new Lucas fiery chilli mix. Right? Beautiful, beautiful. Um, the end of a chilli, just shaped into that wedge shape, wrapped in bacon, and then painted on the top with the DL hot habanero marinade. We've used the steak and dried chilli rings and I've also put a little bit of fresh chilli over there just in case oh, it wasn't oh, hot enough for you. Yeah. yeah. I, I, th I think, Peter said about the seller, but I think it really is one of those products we might not sell a massive amount, however, I think it looks really good in the counter. It's oh, one of those, the yeah. oh, look at that, it's a talking and, and, I mean, for the marinade again. for the. When you make these with the last little bit of sausage meat left in the bottom of the yeah, filler, yeah, just yeah. as a, a byproduct, you know, yeah. why not make yeah. 10 of them just to go in the counter, put some yeah. money in the till, and uh, yeah, yeah, you say so cheap away. sausage meat and well, wrapped in bacon, isn't it? Yeah, well, that was the, the concept, you know what I mean? We were like thinking, price of meat going through the roof, yeah. stuff like that. We need to get these products <coughs> pared down a little bit to be simple, to make the butcher more money, yeah, but yeah, still yeah. be a cracking good product that's like exclusive to the butchers and they're not gonna see it anywhere else. Yeah. So now we move on to another pH creation. Yeah. It's superb. Cajun pork fry up. Yeah. Right? Small diced pork, or you could use like mince through an eight mil plate. Oh, that's a good idea, yeah. The Cajun trinity of um, white onions, green peppers, celery, all mixed together with that Cajun Louisiana World Grill. Oh. Simplicity itself. The, the, the thing is, like, we go, we go into butcher shops and we see rows of stir fry and they're all the same. Yeah, colour all the same strips. Yeah, like yeah, all the same, peppers, the same yes. way. Yeah. And the only difference is the, the, the marinade or yes, something on them. That's right. But that's I thought it. this way we'll do it like a, yeah. a chunk you could. So yeah. this was in, like inspired by a, a corned beef hash type. Product, yeah, right. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah to, to do it like yes. that, and it cook a lot quicker like that as well, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah, oh, and it, it, it's different and easier. 
I mean, yeah, even that fried up for the customer into a wrap. Oh, yeah, in a little pizza, bit, yeah. put it on top, yeah. sprinkle it on top of a salad, yeah. it'd be absolutely yeah. gorgeous, yeah. you know. I can't eat them wraps at all. Oh, don't like <laughs> Go all over the place. <laughs> uh, Display it in the counter as well. It's so, so superb. Just finishing in like this, it just adds theatre as well, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, that's not it. just in all it jumps out it's yeah, different just, as well. Just in, in, in like that. You know? no, it, yeah, yeah. you know, you see woks and bowls, yes. there's, there's no reason why you couldn't have a nice. No. Definitely. Big cast frying yes. pan in the middle and, and, and yeah. serve it out of that. Ooh, that'd be oh, cracking idea. Yeah. The, the butchers doing food to go, I agree with your, 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 your idea there, Matt. I'm so good at these, there's lots of butchers doing food to go now. They're in a wrap. Yes, food yeah. to go yes. Cook it up Simple. in front of the customers. Yeah. They'd have rolls. It would be people. quick. Uh, oh, and don't forget, we're going to cook these off and they're going to taste absolutely fantastic very shortly. Yes, and these are our, our hot habanero beef kebabs. Mm. And I tell you what, Colin, you will not be disappointed when you taste that. This is a real... I can't eat one of them to myself. No, well, and that's, that's a good point, actually, because we did cook this at a barbecue uh, a few weeks ago. And it's a, it's a sharing kebab. Yeah. So, but actually, the, the um, ambience, atmosphere that gives in a barbecue is that when you're sharing it, you're all digging in. Showstopper. Oh, yes, a showstopper. Yeah. That's I mean, exactly what it is. Yes. You turn up to a barbecue with one of those, yes. you're, uh, everyone's going to be Absolutely. your friend, aren't yes. they? Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. but the thing is, to, that like concept of the big sharing kebab, mm. you know, like in restaurants, it's been popular for ages, but it's yes. like a home barbecue, Absolutely. they wouldn't do that. Yes. But if you have six of them on, yes, right. do you know what yeah. I mean? That's right. Um, yeah. you know, they'll serve what? Two to four people. Four people. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, depending yeah. how hungry they are. how much it would be yeah. for yeah. steaks for 20 people. Yes. Where well, you could do yeah. them, you yeah. know, yeah. cut it down yeah. and, and then go back to the wraps and pitters. Absolutely. Mm. And see them when they're cooked and then you're carving them off there. It's a real Ooh, shot. Oh, go back to the show. It really is pleasing for the crowd there. Uh, so, so what we do with the lemons on the fruit, would you cook yeah. them as well? That's right, cook them as well, and when it's finished cooking it, just squeeze a little bit on top, gives another depth of flavour again, a bit of freshness, a yeah, nice bit one. of summery flavour there as well. So oh, the yeah, those hot habanero chilies, that'll be yeah, serious it summer flavours. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, it was, yeah, add a, adds another little dimension of flavour to it, but yeah, serious flavour there. Really. Yeah, simple product. Yes, simple product, and it goes back to well, what yeah. we were talking earlier so on. Quick. Yeah, simple product done, done so well. And again, going back to the, the sharing kebabs, this is going to be quicker to do as well, isn't it? Because rather than feeding on the 20 different kebabs, it's, it's, so it's a time saver as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, definitely, it's a time saver, yeah. definitely. definitely. And I suppose it's just marketing it right. You know, yes, letting people know absolutely. it's a sharing kebab, yeah. it's going to serve yeah. Yeah. four or five people. Yeah. You know, it's. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, they're brilliant. You imagine them cut lovely and rare. Yeah. So next up on the masterclass, we've got something that every butcher shop should have in during the summer, which is barbecue essentials. Yeah. Um, we've put together these tandoori steak grills with the crispy onions on the side. The barbecue essentials is anything from your plain kebabs to your spatchcock chickens. Just paint it on and, uh, you know, give the customers, uh, you know... I mean, they look amazing. The, the size, what size are they? Are they six ounce, eight ounce? Yeah, about eight ounce, those ones. They're a, they're a really good size, but, I mean, you can make these any size you want. Um, yeah, but the depth's effective with a crisp. Exactly, yeah, that's, it, that's, it, that's what, uh, that's what uh, yeah. really, really makes they're, them. Yeah. They're a bit smaller. What have you done with them? Oh, the crispy onions, we just uh, just crumble them up ever so slightly. If you use the whole pieces, they can be a little bit bitty, oh, quite big on the top. Right. So you get a bit of a yeah, yeah, yeah. bit of a neater look just around the edge there. It's more of an onion crumb. Yes, it? yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. I mean, you could market it as that, a tandoori mm. steak grill with an onion crumb. Mm. It's a big caramelised onion, onion bhaji crumb. Yeah. Onion bhaji crumb, Ooh, yeah, that's that it, way. yeah. Yes. It's so simple. Yeah. It's, it's a beef burger with a tandoori marinade. Yes with some crispy onions on the side, but how effective do they look? They, they do, you know? and it's, it's just the shape. Mm. Yes. Yeah. You're, you're well, I mean, I used a, uh, a poaching ring to do this, right. okay. but ah, you could just use nice your idea. burger press, yeah. Yeah. you know, it'd be absolutely fine, but those poaching rings are great. Great for moulding your truffles as yes. well. Yeah. Oh, yes, cracking idea. It's the simplicity again with these products. The trend today is how, yeah. how simple they are to make, but actually doesn't under, undermine how they look. The look yes, is phenomenal, exactly, isn't it? Yeah. The looks that's it off. Yes, oh, it definitely. It is. Definitely. And I mean, there's no reason as well why you couldn't have a range of this style of product. Yes, no. we use yeah. the tandoori, yeah. but why not do a Cajun Ooh. chicken? Yeah. Oh, perfect. You know, yeah. or, or we could have a look at doing a, a hot habanero pot burger. Yeah. It'd, be, it'd be absolutely yeah. Ooh, perfect. That's a cracking yeah. one, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. A burger mixture choice as well. Wait, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. I mean, we've used, uh, we've used the beef burger mixed with yeah. onion on this. I'd say with the tandoori, keep it something fairly plain. Yeah. Um, but have a play around, you yeah. know, be creative with it, see what you can make. Yeah, the poultry burger mix with poultry, things like that. Oh, Pork, yes. Anything, isn't it? Mm. Oh, yeah. definitely. I mean, there's that many about now. Yes, but, uh, yeah, you yeah. can soon. And, and as well, you can make a bespoke product for your business. Yes, absolutely. You know? ah, yes. Uh, right, we've seen some cracking barbecue products there, fellas. Uh, but every now and then, I mean, I live in the northwest, uh, and it doesn't always sun. Sun doesn't always shine. Uh, sometimes, as I say, it's a very wet and windy, windy day. And what better rainy day dish than these habanero h
some uh, mozzarella cheese, some really small diced onion for a bit of texture, a bit of chilli sauce in with the cheese. Right. Uh, fold it up, uh, and all we've done is crimped it, look like a bit of a Cornish pasty. Um, and yeah, perfect with a tray, tray bake, with a veg on there, anything like that. But so the cheese just oozes out when it's, when it's cooked, and yeah. it's just, it works so well with the heat. Yeah. It uh, looks so different as well, so attractive for the counter. It's the it's, it's same again, it's another burger, but another way of doing it, yeah, really. I think the, the mixture of yours, the use they call in, is the maple and chilli, yeah. because that is a phenomenal sausage mix. I think that, that's one of my best selling sausage mixes now. But you get the smoky oh, flavour, and you don't have to just make it a sausage. Yes. Same again, but it's a burger. It's one yeah. of the best. So the smoky works well yeah. and with the heat. I really think really Lucas has done it. Sweet, the sweet takes it. Yes, the they've, got, they've, got, they've got it perfect. Yeah. Exactly, Absolutely and perfect. the cheese as well helps. It yes, so it's not all just heat, heat, heat. It, you yeah. know, the cheese does work well with it. Yeah. And I suppose yeah. when these cook as well, that edge across the top, you're going to get that really crispy it caramel. Does it crisp perfect. Really well, you'll really see that very shortly. Well. Oh, I'm it. looking forward to it. I am as well. I'm getting hungry now. Talk about <laughs> I'm, I'm getting my yeah. spoon ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, I can't wait any longer. Let's get these products cooked. Let's do it. Right, guys, that's everything cooked off. What are we going to try first? What have we got there, Pete? We've got the Cajun pork fry up. Oh, lovely. It looks superb. It does. It looks excellent. We're happy with the colour that is produced when it's cooked as well, Peter. Yes, yes. Yep. Uh, oh, actually. Yeah, I'm not normally a celery man, but we're going to give it a go. Yeah. Oh, I think the colours are so important after the cooking as well, isn't it? Yeah, you get that little bit of Cajun black mm. as well going yeah. on, the, on the meat. Wow. Mm. Oh, incredible. I think mm. those vegetables just oh, work perfect. Yeah, brilliant. As I say, I normally detest celery, but that, with those Cajun spices on, oh, absolutely mega. A little bit of heat to that, but yes. loads of depth of flavour. Yeah, loads of flavour. Oh, yeah. The aftertaste is amazing. It's just mm. the warmth. Yeah. It's just, there's not hot, hot, but it's nice and lovely warm. No, As I definitely. said earlier, I think the steak and do Cajun so well, they've got this one right. Yeah, oh, definitely. Style of the barbecue, this is, I think, the oh, yes. habanero kebab, the, the uh, shearing kebab. But absolutely super. Matt, would you like to do the honours? Oh, definitely, yeah. I think we need a little bit of a little bit of flaky sea salt yeah, over the top of there. Like and a little super. drizzle of that nice caramelised up lemon over the top. Oh, Perfect. Oh, oh. Lots of I'm lovely. Yes, I think you are first for this one. I don't think that's optional either, Peter, is it? <laughs> well, I'll not take the bits, but no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic. I that's cooked to perfection as well. That. Just jump in there, mm -hmm. Ian. Yeah. Yeah, thank mm. you. Probably that. Mm. Mm. That is absolutely superb. I'd like to say you're not just a pretty face. <laughs> I think, again, going back to the marriage on this, the, the meat is still a hero here. Pro. Oh, the, oh, the, yeah. the flavour is coming through, but actually, it still tastes a beautiful, beautiful beef there. I don't think we'll see a better plate today. <laughs> no, Definitely I don't know. No. Absolutely. Anyone who gets that, I'm so impressed. We really love we got exclusivity with this with this marinade. That's going to make a, a phenomenal oh. difference. I know we've done a lot of work in background with this to get this right. And this yeah. is yeah. Well, a lovely it, addition it, to the rest of the range you've yeah. got already. Oh, you know, perfect. Yeah. 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 People yeah. don't say that. You know what I mean? How long? Yeah, 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 yeah we've been on with this for a long time. Yeah, long time, yeah. definitely. I think yeah. anyone who goes to a barbecue and has that steak with that marinade on, you can be talking about that for a long time. You're going to want to keep going there. back to that yeah. butcher and that barbecue. Right, here we are. Let's have a look at this bad boy. Oh, yeah. Do you know when I said that you created the best plate of food? I might be changing my mind. <laughs> look fantastic. Look at that. Oh, they look mega, don't they? I think it's held together it's superb. Mm. Through that cooking process, it looks really good. Oh, oh, I'm going to smell that spice oh, coming through already. Yeah. I think yeah. it's going to be. Are really you not having the sting in the tail? I was going to say the sting in the tail. <laughs> I'll leave that one for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go on, someone's going to have to be brave. Yeah, that. Go, on, go on, that's oh. amazing. Thank you, Peter. Mm. Oh, oh, Peter. Lovely bit of heat. It's the Lucas mm. Fiery Hot Chili, the it, brand new one. Again, Lucas summit. got this right again, and me. That, mm. yeah. With well, the um, hot habanero marinade, yeah. I think Brilliant. that's going to be the, mm. the marinade of the summer. Oh, definitely. And that chilli in the end has cooked up so sweet. Wow. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Peter, well done. Absolutely yeah. super. Oh, yeah, lovely warmth in the back of your throat there as you well again. What? That's the right word, warmth, because it's not... It's, no, 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 not at all. Here, but that's yeah. just warmth. It's, just, oh, it's not overpowering. I did think, oh my God, look at that, it's going to be too hot. It's not, <laughs> is it? Oh, it is absolutely melting. so good that I think I'm going to have another yeah. piece. <laughs> 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 Too hot? No, I don't oh, like hot. No, perfect. Just right. Just right. Mm. There is yeah. heat there. Well, I've had a little bit at the end before I get with all mm. that chilies on that. Mm. I think the well, Lucas sausage meat is perfect. I think the, it's the, hot. the steak and marinade is perfect. I think it's a good product. Yeah, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, uh, 
fantastic looking pearl. Scorpion tails, perfect name for that, Peter. And then as you yeah. said, it's got a sting in the tail. Oh, 100% <laughs> like, yeah, 100%. Just does the job nice. So, now we've got part of the barbecue essentials. We've got the Tandoori Steak Grills. Who has said this was such a simple product. Yes. A burger, Tandoori marinade, crispy I mean, onions around the, the edge. The onions there, the way they've cooked up. Brilliant. Oh, yeah, they look absolutely good. I reckon so, yeah, I think you might be able to. Crispy oniony bits. Oh, yeah, definitely. You've had your eye on that <laughs> piece, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> Lovely oh, stuff. Cheers, Matt, thank you. No worries, I'm going to get stuck in myself. Lucas Burger, Matt? Yes, yeah, yeah, just the burger with onion. Okay. It's absolutely splendid. Perfect. Mm. Crunch on them onions. Mm -hmm. That's a different texture, it's just, yeah, yeah perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, such so, a simple product. So simple. Mm, so simple. As you see, a burger. Painted yep. up, onion around the side. All That's it, needs. it, yeah. Nothing yep. else. We can add a few, uh, a few extra pennies onto that in the tail, can't we? Oof. Yeah. So, I mean, this Indian tandoori, it's one of my favourites. Closely followed behind uh, with the hot habanero oil, but the flavour from that tandoori is mega. I mean, these just cooked up in the oven. Crispy onions have taken on that flavour as well. And uh, I mean, what do you guys think? I think oh. the depth of it is fantastic. It's mm. really authentic. When yes. you for that tandoori flavour, oh, that's exactly yeah. what you're looking for. I think they've got a winner there. That's oh, definitely. Percent. But I mean, with everything that we've done, I know we can we can make stuff look really nice. Yeah. But it tastes absolutely yeah. fantastic yeah, yeah, as well. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. We got yeah. world class products here. Though. The Stephen yeah. product, the Lucas product. The, you oh, know, like, yeah. Yeah. Marriage made in heaven. I mean, that's what these masterclasses with Sauce are all about. You know, we find that you know, find these flavour profiles, try them out, and, uh, and this know. is what we come up with. Yeah. Mm. So here's our rainy day dish, perfectly cooked off. Mm. Look at this. Look at this. The hot, hot habanero. habanero steak pockets. Oh, well away. I think it's superb, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, they are that, yeah. Cheese in the middle, perfect with a little bit of chili. Yeah. See the onions in there, give it a bit of texture. Yeah. Away you go. I was going to say, let's stop looking at it. Let's get into it. Oh, oh. After you. Mm. Yeah. Oh, let's have a go at that one. Mm. Like, just cut these and they held together so well. Mm. And that's, I think the customer likes having to cut them and see that in the centre. Oh, oh that's fantastic. Mm. Initial sweetness. Mm. And then the spice comes through afterwards. Yeah, the spice that's in with the cheese and then on yep. the marinade on the outside. It's incredible. Well, works perfect for me, that. So mm. we call it? Oh, lovely bit of heat. Um, smoked maple and chilli. Ah, oh, oh, absolutely. Yeah. And Lucas, again, they've got it perfect for that The smokiness just calms it all down, doesn't yes. it? Just right. Yes. No, definitely. Here's that exclusive marinade coming into play again. You can see it really oh. coming out in the depth of flavours. Again, oh, the colour, I think, is, is superb after we've cooked it as well, mm -hmm. which I think is really important when the customer sees it, because oh, it's going to look good on a plate as well, isn't it? Yeah. Please, it yeah. good in the camera as well. But it's, it's daft as it is. The name's a pond. Yes, absolutely. You know yeah. I mean? yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like hot habanero steak yeah. pocket. It does what it says on the tin. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. exactly. exactly. Again, a combination there, marriage made in heaven, the, the Lucas maple and chilli uh, sausage mix with the Vestegan. Marinade, super. Mm. I'm so happy with this marinade. I don't know about you guys, but I cannot wait to get out on the road, oh. show this to our butchers, and I mean they're gonna they're gonna sell tons of it. You know, this summertime, this is gonna be a real, real winner. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's gonna be the star. Oh, 100 percent, like yeah, 100 yeah. percent. Really it's uh, yeah, yeah absolutely. Hot habanero. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, we're starting to get together a really good range of exclusive products now with Vestagen and. Uh, it's I mean, this, we've said it before, but it could well be the jewel in the crown, yeah, this one, yeah. I think. Yeah, hot habanero, nice cider. Done. Job done. Ace <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> to the road, man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not joking. Cider would cider would work with that. Ah, I think so, yeah. That's Prosecco. Prosecco. <laughs> <laughs> You're out of the team, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, that's us coming to the end of this fantastic masterclass with Sauset. Um, I mean, what do you think to the products? Because I think they're uh, they're going to be a definite success. Do you oh. know what? I don't think I can pick a, a one out of them five. I know we've narrowed it down. They're all good. They're all they're all superb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, oh, definitely. For me, I, I couldn't pick a definite winner. No. And, I, and then to be honest with you, like you say, these were the narrowed down five. But everything else that's in the uh, in the Sauset, oh, yeah. they're all going to be winners. You yeah. know. Yeah. And. They look as great cooked. Yes, mm. which is important, really important, isn't it? Oh, definitely. There's no point in selling a product that falls apart when it cooks no, and, and the customer yeah. gets it. Right. And it's, yeah, yeah. It's not, they're never going to come back for it, you know. When you, when you see them all together, yeah, that's, that's the best look. Yes. <laughs> it's, you've got to pick that it's the most inviting. Oh, yeah. I think 
The meat is a hero. Yeah. The marries finish it off and it's made it look good. That's, that's a professional. Flavor. That's a professional yes. dish. Mm. Yeah. Oh, hundred percent. Well, I can't wait for the next one. I think yes. this has been great. Been let's, uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Let's look forward to the next one. Yeah. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you at the next masterclass with Saucy. Mm -hmm.